Grigory Rasputin, one of the most enigmatic figures in Russian history, was a Siberian peasant turned mystic whose influence over the Romanov family became legendary. His life is surrounded by strange stories, rumors, and myths, many of which contributed to his notoriety. Here are some of the most famous stories about him, one the healer, Rasputin first gained the trust of Tsar Nicholas II and Tsarina Alexandra after seemingly helping their son, Alexei, who suffered from hemophilia, a condition where the blood doesn't clot properly. In 1906, Rasputin was called to help the boy, and after praying for him, Alexei's condition reportedly improved. This earned Rasputin a reputation as a healer, and the royal family began relying on him, particularly the Tsarina, who believed Rasputin's prayers were divinely inspired. Two religious visions, Rasputin often claimed to have spiritual visions and direct communication with God. These visions, combined with his charisma and hypnotic personality, led many to see him as a holy man, while others saw him as a dangerous manipulator. He was believed to possess mystical healing powers and was rumored to be able to predict the future. 3. Controversial Lifestyle Despite his reputation as a mystic, Rasputin was known for his scandalous lifestyle. Stories of his excessive drinking, womanizing, and wild behavior spread through St. Petersburg. Many members of the Russian aristocracy despised him, viewing him as a corrupting influence on the Romanovs. His enemies often accused him of using his closeness to the royal family to gain power and influence. For the prophecy, one of the most famous legends surrounding Rasputin is his prophecy about his own death and the fate of the Romanovs. He is said to have written a letter to Tsar Nicholas in 1916, warning that if he were killed by commoners, the Romanovs would be safe. However, if members of the Russian nobility killed him, the entire Romanov family would be destroyed within two years. This prophecy eerily came true after Rasputin was assassinated by nobles, and the Romanovs were executed by Bolsheviks in 1918. 5. The Assassination Rasputin's death is surrounded by myth and intrigue. In December 1916, a group of nobles led by Prince Felix Yuzupov plotted to kill him. They invited him to Yuzupov's palace and poisoned him with cyanide-laced cakes and wine. To their astonishment, Rasputin appeared unaffected by the poison. Panicking, they shot him multiple times. He was still alive, so they clubbed him and threw his body into the freezing Neva River. When his body was found, autopsy reports suggested that he had drowned, making his survival of the poisoning and shooting seem almost supernatural. 6. Political Influence Rasputin's influence over the Romanovs extended to political matters, especially during World War I when Tsar Nicholas went to the front lines, leaving Alexandra in charge of domestic affairs. Rasputin's close relationship with her led to accusations that he was manipulating government decisions. Many believed that Rasputin had a say in appointing and dismissing ministers, which fueled the already growing discontent with the monarchy. Rasputin's life and death remain shrouded in mystery, and his story has inspired countless books, films, and even folklore. To this day, he is remembered as a man whose mystical presence and influence had a profound impact on the last days of Imperial Russia.